everybody. Welcome to Freehandly Made AU, My Autistic Life. My name is Nisi, and welcome to my channel and my house. All right, y'all. Excuse the mess over here I got going on. <laughs> it's a hot mess. Anyway, you guys, you guys, it will be a little time before you get to see this video. But I wanted to make a special gift for somebody that... I just think the world of and I have been following her for a while now and um, like me she has gone back to work and um, she doesn't get on the YouTube streets like like she used to just like me and um, you know us working girls we don't get to get on the YouTube streets during a day like we used to anyway so I wanted to make her something special she a long time ago when I first started crocheting and getting into the crochet community she sent me this wonderful book that I have used several times now um, she sent me this book it is the crochet dictionary the crochet stitch dictionary and she sent it to me through Amazon and it has been such a blessing I've learned a lot from this book and I've designed two things now using the stitches in this book um, one of those major things I've designed is my uncle's blanket and I've had a couple of people who want me to do a tutorial on it but really all it is is the herringbone double crochet stitch so I don't know we'll see maybe I'll do a tutorial I don't know either that or I'll just do a really good video on the blanket when I get done and tell you exactly what I did because honestly you don't really need a tutorial because <laughs> you can look up how to do a herringbone stitch on YouTube and find several swatch tutorials on how to do the herringbone stitch and then once you got the stitch down you just do your blanket so anyway getting off track um so yes so that book has been absolutely a blessing and wonderful and uh, i've been thinking of for a while now how i wanted to show my appreciation and send some love this person's way and i'm like you know People tend to love my spa sets, so I'm going to make her a spa set. I love making spa sets. I like making them different each time. They're fun to make. They're, you know, pretty easy to whip up, and I can be creative with them. And then I can send a bar of goat's milk homemade huckleberry soap because it smells so delicious. Don't eat it, though, Samita. Don't eat it. You can't eat it. It won't taste good. It smells good, but it won't taste good. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, I did one of my favorite facial scrubbies, as always, is Crojo Corners Miss Laura's Bobble Facial Scrubby, Bobble Scrubby. So I made her one of these, and Miss Anita loves blue, y'all. Um, so this yarn is Peaches and Cream. And for the life of me, I don't know where... Oh, I think this is it. Nope, that's not it. Um, I don't know where the, the sleeve went that I had, so I can't tell you the color of it, but... Um, it's the it's the color that has the the it's got blues and cream color, blues and creams a very light baby blue, into a uh, middle mid denim kind of blue and then a navy blue and then you got the cream, and it's really cute. So I made her this bauble, it's very cute, and then I made her just a simple Suzette stitch washcloth. And I just did a single crochet border around it. And then, and then I wanted to do something different. And these are all for the bathroom, you guys. Um, I wanted to do something a little creative. Um, and so I looked, I literally went into YouTube and I Googled crochet round wash cloth. Well, no washcloths came up, but a couple of dishcloths came up. Now, just because it says it's a dishcloth doesn't mean you can't turn it into a washcloth, you guys, for the bathroom, just so you know. And I found one um, through Yarn Inspirations, um, and it is called the Pinwheel Washcloth. Actually, it's called the Pinwheel Dishcloth. I made mine into a washcloth just by using a, a slightly softer, softer cotton. And with that link, of course, Mikey from the Crochet Craft 
has a tutorial on it. What? So I was like, well, I'm going to click that link. <clears throat> so I downloaded the free pattern and I watched <coughs> Mikey do the tutorial. There was a couple places where I had to slow him down a little bit um, because it, this was a little more complicated than what I normally would do. But y'all, and you normally, you're supposed to use two colors, but because this is so variegated, I just let the variegation do its job. And I didn't use two different colors of yarn, just so you know. But the pattern will tell you to use two colors. But you don't have to, okay? But look how cute this is. Look how adorable that is. Isn't that cute? I just love it. And it came out so pretty. And the pinwheel part actually um, pops up out of the pattern because it's a front post, so it really pops out. So let me put this close so you guys can see that. So it was um, it was a pretty easy pattern once I understood what I was doing. Um, I had to frog a couple of times. And then once I was like, oh, okay, and the light bulb went off, then it was easy. And it whipped up really, really fast. It whipped up really fast, and I just love it. It's different, right? It's different, and it's cute. Um, and, you know, um, I, the pattern also had like the little hanging thing that you can do, but I hate, I hate those hanging things. I think it takes away from the washcloth and I'm hoping this doesn't get hung up. I'm, I'm hoping Samina, you will use it. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so I made her three different washcloths, um, or two washcloths and a facial scrubby. And then of course the Huckleberry goat homemade huckleberry goat's milk goat's milk soap will go with this and it is being sent off in the mail so if you're getting to watch this video it's because miss anita has already received her gift in the mail and i'm able to let you guys see because i can't post it until she gets it because then it'll ruin the surprise <laughs> i will say i'm horrible with surprises and to help me keep this a secret and a surprise, I actually shared this with two people. I shared it with two people in the crochet community, and those people know who they are because I had to share it with somebody. One, because I needed to make sure that they thought she would really like it because it wasn't, I wanted a variegated arm that was just completely different shades of blue with no other colors in it, but I couldn't find that. And this was the closest thing I could find was the one with the cream in it. And they both said, she'll love it. it it's fine. She'll love it. So um, that and it, it, it helped get that itch of <sighs> wanting to show it without ruining the surprise. So anyway, um, these are very easy. Um, now this, I'll put the link to Laura's tutorial for this. As always, I always do that when I'm doing one of these because I love, you know, you got to give your designer their credit. Credit goes where it deserves, right? And then, of course, I'll link, not only will I link Mikey's uh, link to the tutorial to this, the crochet crowd, but I'll also link where you can get the, download the pattern as well. Um, and that will be in the description. And then as far as this, you guys, I literally pulled the Suzette stitch right out of that dictionary. And I just took my measuring tape and I measured how big I wanted it. And to make sure it came out to a square, I made sure that it folded into a perfect triangle. And I think mine came out to be nine and a half by nine and a half inches. Um, I was wanting it to be 10 by 10, but because of the way I crochet and my gauge, it came out to nine and a half to nine and a half. And that's fine. It's still big, plenty big enough. And it's cute. Literally, that's all I did. Literally. And then I just went around, made a border using the single crochet, three singles in the same stitch in each corner. Um, and then on the sides, I made sure all the sides were the same as far as how many single crochet stitches I did. And it was 27, three, three here, 27, and then three. And I did that all the way around. So it comes out nice and square and not lopsided. That was all I did for this, you guys. So there's no written pattern for this. I just whipped it up um, using the, the dictionary on how to do a Suzette stitch. Um, and I've done a Suzette stitch a couple of times before. But I didn't, um, from a different washcloth that I did, but I didn't want to have to relook those up. Um, and I'm like, you know what, I bet you I can just pull out my dictionary, remind myself how to do a Suzette stitch and be able to whip this up myself. And I did. So there you guys go. This is a very popular pattern. You can find this everywhere on YouTube. If you don't have a dictionary, you don't want to try and figure it out on your own like I did. Literally, crochet, Suzette, 
Suzette, Stitch, Dishcloth, Washcloth, and you'll get a whole bunch of different ones that pull up for you that you can you can follow along with and do. So that is it for this, you guys. That is my my um, my surprise finished object finish finish fo um, and Sunita. Just so you know, I hope that um, these bring you years of joy and smiles and happiness. And every time you use them, you'll remember that you are valued, you are appreciated. And you have so many of us who love you and care about you. And we're right there with you, walking your journey with you along your side. And you have our full support. And we feel your love through your videos. At least I feel your love. I can't speak for other people. I feel the love you have for us in your videos every time I watch them. And I look forward to seeing each video that you put up and so that's why I gifted this for you is just to show you my love and just a hug on you and let you know you're appreciated so with that you guys I'm off I gotta make my boys lunch y'all take care have a great weekend always remember dare to be you dare to be different goodbye from big sky Montana bye everybody